Hi guys, Dog Fuck here, and welcome back to the FIFA 17 team of the season player. Today we're going to be reviewing the 87 rated Brazilian striker Suarez. Uh, he cost me 24,000 coins, and in the five games that I played with him, he scored me five goals and got me zero assists. He is a medium, medium work rate along with a three star week for and two star skill moves. So let's now get into his in game stats and highlights. Okay, guys, so enough into Suarez's in game stats. The four main stats on this card would stand out to me are his 97 aggression, his 93 strength, his 93 finishing, and his 99 heading accuracy. He does have the specialist of post aerial threat strength and complete forward and he does not have any traits and guys getting off into the first pro for this card for me it is his finishing he does have 85 um shots on his base colors was 93 finishing on his in-game stats including the likes of the poacher and complete forward in the specialist area which i just talked about there then and yeah for me overall his finishing was very very good in particular inside that box area that poacher specialist has been very very important to this card and quite key i also like to think to a striker as well and i mean the five goals in five games was a very very nice return what i will say is from a long distance he isn't that dangerous uh, i did have quite a few long shots of him and they didn't really look to be that good um but from a close distance he is very very clinical and that was very important when uh, using this card for me his second pro is his dribbling this is quite surprising i did also review michigolu yesterday who, who i also think is six for two and what was quite surprising for me is usually tall players don't have very good dribbling yet michigolu had good dribbling as well as Suarez does today his dribbling was very very important it's also very important because he can use it as an attack of kind of threats on the opposition and he doesn't have to rely on other people having to kind of uh, set up passes for him you know he can just go on himself and and create chances by uh, by himself which I was very very pleased with uh, and then his final pro for me is his physical he does have 90 physical um, and obviously the height of six foot two you know he was able to kind of take on a lot of defenders and kind of you know uh, shrug them off the ball uh, he had no problem taking on their full backs um, in general, his physical was very, very good, and uh, that does kind of end the pros of this card. Uh, there are quite a few, well, I say there are quite a few. There's a couple of cons to this card. For me, his first con is his work rate and position. This is kind of the same thing. He does have the medium, medium work rate, which isn't ideal, and that's kind of noticeable then in his positioning. There was often times where I'd be coming like, on the attack with like Burkamp or Futre or even Michigulu, and he would be kind of in the centre midfield position or just in the midfield position he wasn't really he never really made the runs which I wanted him to make and that was kind of frustrating for me sometimes because he you know I just wasn't happy with him being in that position because he does have 67 passing which isn't that good and I don't want him to be in the midfield position I want him to be up front in the attack where he can use his attack of um, assets to cause problems to the defence and he wasn't always able to do that because of that uh, poor work rate and positioning and then the second come for me is his skill moves he does have two star skill moves which is not going to be ideal to a lot of you guys uh, to me I don't personally notice it but um, I know it's going to be very very important uh, for you guys when uh, deciding to buy a striker on skill and unfortunately he doesn't really deliver in that kind of area um in general would i recommend buying this card i mean probably it's not a bad card i mean he's probably he's probably going to be going for around about twenty-two thousand coins so when you think about it in that sense you could pick him up for like twenty-two thousand coins if you don't like him after about four or five games selling for twenty thousand coins you've lost about two thousand coins so there's no harm in going trying this card out i mean he yeah, he's not from the greatest league in the world. It's not a bad league, but it's not the greatest. He is Brazilian as well, so he's going to be relatively easy to kind of link into other teams. Um, but I do think there are better alternatives. I mean, if I compare him to Michigulu, who I reviewed yesterday, I personally do uh, prefer Michigulu than this uh, Suarez card. But in general, he wasn't bad. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 because he was good in many areas. There were just a few areas like that work rate positioning and skill moves, which he did unfortunately lack. Um, but maybe that could be improved with a certain chemistry style uh, or something like that. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish off this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys later.